morning. Welcome to the program. It is Thursday. It is June the 13th. Thursday's main showcase of talent, and indeed, we have a trio called uh, Far Flung. We're going to talk about how they got their name, and uh, you will be very impressed with these musicians. They really are very, very good. Also, entertainment seems to be the buzzword today, because we're going to be talking about New West Theatre presents um, the uh, Joker's Wild, and uh, Sheena Lawson, who appears in these wonderful productions as a cast member, and Debbie Goodrich are going to join us. Now, Debbie's not a member the cast, but Lethbridge Family Services present New West Theatre's opening night. So we'll talk about where that money goes. We'll be back after this commercial break. Don't go away. We just suddenly realized that this showcase is the last for the season because we have two more shows to do before Moi goes on summer hiatus, and uh, but what a nice way of wrapping up this whole showcase uh, uh, concept with this kind of talent. Joining me, we have Stuart Bardsley and uh, Dennis uh, Kamatoma, who are um, actually two members of a trio, and the third is... Brian Bradford. Yeah, Brian Bradford. Uh, this is called Far Flung. Now, the name, how did it come about? Well, Brian and I were out... Uh going to play at the uh, Bluegrass and Country Music Association and they asked us what our name was and we didn't have one at that time and so I just off the top of my head said far flung and it kind of stuck from there and then uh, we asked Dennis to join us and that's how the trio was formed. So where have you performed Dennis? Oh gosh uh, I really haven't played a lot and prior to to me getting together with Brian and Stuart I hadn't really performed at all and since then we've done a few open stages uh, and of course opening for Valdi was by far wow. the most exciting. That's great stuff. Now, do you find that you get a comfort zone on stage? I mean, they, they told me they had to really talk you into coming, even being a part of the group. And they did. Yes. Okay, now, have you reached that comfort zone on stage yet? I think it's getting a lot easier. I think the more you perform, the easier it does get. Right. So it, uh, it actually feels really good. It's quite exciting. So I was talking to a professional musician, and he said, you strive for a sound, a, a specific sound, and, and every once in a while you get it, and the rest of the time you don't, but you always strive for that sound again. Mm -hmm. Is that what happens? I think so, yeah. Um, I, I think more than anything else, it's kind of an evolution. Uh, as a player, it takes time to play with other people and get in time with them and, and actually gel with them. And I think that's kind of what's happened with us, is it's been a, a, something that's evolved over time. Um, that's a very fleeting moment, that sound, though, usually, because you, you get it just for a second and then you lose it again. And it takes a lot of work to actually sound polished and professional. And, and so, you know, the three-minute song, it really took, you know, five years to, right. to put together so that it sounded like that. Now you bo both <coughs> play acoustic guitar mm -hmm. and so you get three musicians together and I is there a lot of jamming before you say hey I think this is working Dennis? Oh tremendous amount yeah, the yeah. more more than, <laughs> than meets the eye that's for sure. Yeah. The um, Valdi as you mentioned had to be one of those we're doing what? I mean this is good stuff Mm -hmm. uh, do you find that one door opens and then another two start to sort of do that? That's kind of what's been happening so far. I, as a group, we've only been together a couple of years, and we seem to keep ratcheting ourselves up in what we're playing, like the, the kind of uh, engagements that we're playing. Um, we, we just do it for fun more than anything else. That's because you have day jobs. Yes, exactly. And you yeah. work where? Uh, we work at JRC, and I'd just like to say, hi, everybody. <laughs> and they're all watching. <laughs> they're all watching, <laughs> apparently, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so don't make a mistake. <laughs> but when we talk about, now your background w is as a sound man. That's correct, yes. I, I started out fresh out of high school uh, right. doing rock and roll bands in the bars and did that for, oh, I, I, well, I'm still mixed sound, but uh, mm -hmm. I about seven years solid where I, I was traveling around the country and so I got to see a lot of productions and things like that where I got to learn what you know the, the good things to do were and, and I think it helped my playing a lot because I got to play with very good players yeah. a lot you know like after the shows and stuff we'd get together and jam. But wouldn't they also, wouldn't the musicians also appreciate a sound man 
that plays a musical instrument as well because then you understand it. That's that's right. I found I, I, that's one of the reasons why I started to play actually was so I could communicate with them better and have a better understanding of what they go through. And I never realized how easy it was to stand at the back of the room behind a mixing board and be anonymous. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a lot easier than it is to get up on stage and yeah. I guess basically bare your soul to whoever's yeah. standing out in front of you. Yeah. And you hope to God, that they like what you do. And if you make a mistake, you can cover it up. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, the, ah, but that's a good musician. If, yeah. in fact, mistakes are made that you can sort of cover and no one knows except you. Um, the song, the piece of music that you're, you're going to play, mm -hmm. talk about that, Dennis. What is it? Well, actually, we should direct that to Stuart. Okay, Stuart, take one of his did, did you write this? Yes, I did, actually. Did I, I wrote it about 15 years ago. Uh, I, I wrote it for, for my wife to, uh, my wife, she wasn't my wife at that point, we, yeah. we actually had met and uh, spent two weeks together, but uh, I, I just kind of sat down one night and wrote it, and when I finished it, I called her up long distance back to Ontario and played it to her over the phone. Mm -hmm. and, uh, you romantic <laughs> devil, you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, it's, it's a song that's kind of evolved. It, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know exactly how to explain the lyrics because they just kind of came to me yeah. as, you know, kind of describing relationships, I guess. What's the song called? It's called You and I. Well, let's go okay. to it. You and I. And it's performed by the, ba the trio Far Flung. Here we go. Ruger's Music Showcase of Talent is pleased to present Far Flung. Separate souls, separate entities. We've gone upon a path in search of such subtle mysteries of being friends, of being shared, of love for harmony, both caring for and praying for the best that we can be. You and I were so new to this, you know, I've never truly seen. Just a far we go with a love that's slowly free Of all that earthly bounded in tenth and mind Feel our daily need to be anchored to forever with Such a lovely sea Such a lovely sea Won't you sail, won't you come, won't you sail with me Bright clear blue sea Sometimes it's far to clear to us the way that we must go. Either breaking some old habit or just playing in the snow. Holding on to you, dear, is how I want to go. Be just you and me. Sailing on the bright, clear blue sea. Won't you sail with me? Come and gone, but whether the gale or two. Had a child, smiled for miles, learned a bit about solitude. And even though it's been stormy, there's still all the love we found. 
The best times are yet arising On the horizons yet unfound Won't you sail with me? On the bright clear blue sea Won't you sail with me? Won't you sail with me? This showcase of talent has been brought to you by Kruger's Music, the sound of decision. Bravo, the sounds of far flung. Uh, we were looking at that shot that of uh, Brian's guitar, and, and uh, I, you were saying he made that guitar? Yeah, he, he assembled it out of different parts. I, I believe he actually found that body in a barn. And, wow. and kind of nursed it back to health and oh. put a, the, the resonator in it. That's yes. what that silver metal thing is. It looks like a little yeah. hubcap there. Kind of, yeah. 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 And, of course, uh, Brian, is the, Brian Bradford is the uh, third of the trio far flung. Um, I know good things are going to happen with <laughs> you guys. I nice. know that instinctively. Mm -hmm. um, what's the plans down the road? Um, album? <laughs> You're laughing. Don't laugh. Go with it. <laughs> no? Well, we, we, like I said, we kind of do it for fun, you know. Like oh, yeah. we, we, We've done some uh, recording. A friend of mine has a, uh, has a movie sound cart, and he does uh, movies. And so location found for movies, and, and I helped him build the cart. And he came down one day and, uh, to Lethbridge, he's out of Calgary, and he actually recorded us in our living room. And so we call that Far Flung One, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's a start. <laughs> exactly. Um, I, I don't know. I think I would like to. You know, it, it, it's it's something we we do I think because we have to at, you know like it's just something that drives us to do it so we don't really make any plans they just kind of fall into place so far you know mm -hmm. yeah, I, I guess it'd be different if we were really hungry uh, artistes right. you know and, and that kind of thing but I, I think we do it more for fun it, for me uh, playing guitar is the one thing that still makes me smile every time I do it oh that's yeah. terrific and that's probably why it works so well is because you can be relaxed doing it and let let whatever's going to happen happen mm -hmm. do you write any of your own pieces as well Dennis oh actually not I I'm, I've only been playing for a few years, yeah. and I owe a lot to both Stuart and Brian for, for really helping me along. It's, uh, it's been really fun. He's not being truthful. I've I don't think so things. either. He's written yeah. he very well. He Does doesn't he? write lyrics much. but yeah. I'm going to present you with the, uh, oh, the tape. You. And um, as I say, a lot of people are using that for audition tapes. Mm. And here's three T-shirts of you. Showcase of Talent. We'd like to pass those thank along, give one much. to Brian. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, I wish you well, and I thank you for uh, sort of tying up the last of the Showcase of Talent talent shows and uh, I couldn't thought of anyone better to have it uh, have on the program. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for having Thanks. us here. And good luck. It's our pleasure. Thanks. A commercial break. When we come back we're going to be talking about New West Theatre's opening night of Joker's Wild, Sheena Lawson and uh, Debbie Goodrich. Join us. We'll be back. <laughs>